Jermont, I know for longtime Red Wing fans, this is kind of like saying goodbye to an old friend. Yeah, you're right, Steve. You know, the fact is, the history here at the Joe is undeniable. But the fact is, once the final game tomorrow and the final event here at the Joe is scheduled, this building will come down. But the big question looming by many Detroiters and beyond, what will take its place? As Red Wing fans leave the Joe, they know the glory days are coming to an end. Love our Red Wings! That's the Joe, you know, that's, it's, it's one of the staples of Detroit, you know, it's one of the pillars. The fact is, the sign and the entire facility will be torn down, so they are capturing memories. But it's unclear what will replace this iconic structure. As historic as that building is, it was very much a, a thought of the 1960s or 70s thinking where you'd put a building with no windows on the riverfront. Detroit's river and the river walk have been key elements in the rebirth. It's nice to be able to come down and relax. Since his revamp, the foot traffic and everything in between have drawn people downtown. Sandy Barua, president of the Detroit Regional Chamber, says whatever comes must continue to embrace the riverfront. Hockey pucks and glass do not mix for windows like that. So we have tremendous opportunities for mixed use, primarily residential, maybe some commercial. And mixed are the expectations of what people truly want to see here. Affordable housing for the people that work and want to live in Detroit, because right now the wage gap is massive. Definitely think it should not be any residential area because it's the heart of the city and uh, it's a place where the city makes and the state makes money, right? Uh, I would like to see a lot more for like the families. And back live here, you can see people still snapping images and memories of this iconic structure behind me. But again, looking towards the future, many people are wondering, should a park go here as opposed to residential space and or commercial space? The regional, uh, excuse me, the Detroit president of the regional chamber tells me, it's all up in the air, but one thing is sure, Steve, this is prime land I'm standing on right now. Reporting live in downtown, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Oh, it is prime real estate. That is no lie. All right, thank you, Jermont. Uh, Jamie will break down tonight's game coming up a little bit later in sports. The puck drops tomorrow, 5 p.m., final game at Joe Louis <laughs> Arena. But the festivities start early, about 2 p.m., outside the east entrance. Current players and more than 50 Red Wings alumni will walk the red carpet as they enter Joe Louis Arena. Fans are encouraged to come early and line up along the red carpet and, and cheer on their favorite Red Wings. Jamie Edmonds will be live from Joe Louis Arena with a recap of all the festivities tomorrow night at 11.